After a two alarm fire gutted a motel in Gastonia, we first brought this to you as breaking news last night at 11. It's on Cox Road right off I-85. The hotel was abandoned, but we learned this same hotel caught fire just months ago. WBTV's Brandon Hamilton has been at this motel all day. So Brandon, you've been working to find out how it started and what's being done to make sure this doesn't happen again. Well, Siobhan, I can tell you, in fact, in just the past few minutes, the fire department did leave. They've been coming out here about every hour just to make sure there are no hot spots. And I do want to have you just to look at this building. And if you walk with me, you can just see the rubble left over from this fire. A look up at the top in this darkness tonight. And Molly, Siobhan, I just want to ask you just to tell you, it's just hard to think that anyone lived inside of here. You could see the fire for miles. Flames ripping through the abandoned Value Lodge Motel in Gastonia Monday night. At one point we had 4,000 gallons of water a minute operating to bring that down to manageable level. Firefighters were back Tuesday at the building on Cox Road. The city track hoe uh, come in and a mini excavator come in and they cleared the way as we were extinguishing parts and looking through that. From spraying water on hot spots to tearing down a side of the motel. We think that a uh, someone uh, set a fire, whether it be intentional to destroy the building or not, uh, but we think that someone set the fire is on the upper level, the third room to the right of the firewall. Authorities say homeless people have been known to stay here, even though the motel has been abandoned for years. WBTV spotted clothes and other items in two rooms. It's not the first time firefighters have been called to the motel. This is video from July of 2022. In a statement, the city of Gastonia says, quote, we are working closely with the property owner and all of our partners to determine next steps for the building. And back here live tonight, I was told the owner of the property is not in the area, but is expected to be back here tomorrow. Now the question tonight is what happens to this building and this property? Well, I did ask a, a worker at a nearby convenience store off camera. She told me she hopes it gets demolished. Reporting live in Gastonia, Brandon Hamilton, WBTV on your side. Brandon, thank you.